Walking in the garden one day, I heard a strange buzzing sound. It was louder than a bee, but quieter than a helicopter. I trained my ears and followed the sound, closer and closer until I came to the pear tree? Upon closer inspection, I saw it. A bright blue-green, large-sized dragonfly with its head stuck in the hardware mesh we'd wrapped around the tree to protect it from passing deer. The dragonfly's head was stuck through one square in the mesh, and its wings and body stuck on the other side, frantically buzzing its shimmering wings, trying to push itself through. No amount of pushing was ever going to get that dragonfly through the mesh intact. The only way was backwards. Gently as I could, and verbalizing my intent in the hopes of bringing some comfort, I tried pushing on its head to push it out. Suddenly, I felt a sharp pain in my finger. The darn thing bit me. It was not pleased with my attempted rescue, but it would surely die if I didn't help it, by getting eaten by a bird or by wounding itself beyond repair. So I tried again, and eventually it popped free and buzzed right past my ear and off into the distance. It occurred to me how similar to that dragonfly we all must seem to our spirit helpers from time to time, heading blind toward disaster and snapping at them when they try to redirect us on a more harmonious path. So if you're feeling stuck and feeling some pressure, don't be the dragonfly. Allow the universe to push you out of the trap you are in so you can fly away free. We don't always know the way, aren't always aware of the alternate route. Sometimes we need a helping hand and a gentle nudge.